Hello everyone, this is Dr. Nusha Rani speaking from Maharaja's College of Pharmacy. Today we are going to discuss about the working principles of nephilometer. Till now in my previous videos I have shown different estimations uh, using spectroscopy where uh, uh, the solutions that were estimated were clear in nature. Today we are going to uh, estimate solutions that are turbid and cloudy in nature. So you can see a difference between a solution and a suspension. This is a solution where the liquid is very clear and the solute is dissolved in it and this is a suspension where the solute is not dissolved but just suspended. Uh, so today we are going to estimate this type of uh, suspension by using nephilometer. So in the college we are having the instrument called as Elico CL52D nephilometer. So the make is Elico and the model number is CL52D. So using this instrument uh, which is very simple to operate and a compact bench top type of an instrument which is just having two knobs to calibrate to set 0 and to set 100 and then uh, an on and off button for different ranges like 100 and 1000 range to just collect the NTU units. NTU units are nothing but nephroturbidimetric units. The principle involved in nephilometry is measurement of the intensity of the scattered light. So here is a suspension. Uh, barium sulphate solution. So when light passes through this barium sulphate solution, the light gets scattered at uh, in all the directions. So here you can see when light passes through the solution, it gets scattered in different directions and the scattered light is collected and measured at certain angles. So here we get the scattered intensity readings in the form of NTU that is nephloturbidimetric units. So why I am saying nephloturbidimetric units is because nephlometry is almost similar to turbidimetry which is also a similar uh, uh, method where we can estimate turbid solutions. Turbidimetry is where uh, the amount of uh, transmitted light is measured after we pass electromagnetic radiation through the suspension and in nephlometry we are going to measure the scattered light. So the difference in the principles of nephilometry and turbidimetry is in nephilometry we are going to measure the amount of scattered light that is intensity of the scattered light uh, which is scattered by the suspended particles whereas in turbidimetry we are going to measure the amount of light transmitted. So this is the difference in both the methods which are both used to measure the suspensions and turbid solutions and uh, nephilometry is used for dilute suspensions. So today we are estimating a very dilute sulphate solution that is barium sulphate solution and turbidimeter or turbidimetry is where we can estimate uh, concentrated suspensions. So today we are estimating a very dilute sulphate solution using nephilometer. Uh, estimating barium sulphate solution. This barium sulphate solution we have prepared by taking different concentrations of potassium sulphate solution to which we have added sodium chloride HCl reagent, ethanol and glycerol mixture and to all the concentrations we have added barium chloride powder and then uh, shaken well and finally made up with uh, distilled water to produce the required uh, barium sulphate uh, um, suspension. It is mainly used to determine uh, inorganic substances uh, especially sulphates which we are going to estimate today by measuring the barium sulphate suspension and this is also used to detect the suspended particles in treated waters, water systems, paper and pulp industry, sugar industry, etc. Calibrate the instrument. We can just put the instrument in different ranges that is uh, 100 range and 1000 range. This is the 100 range and this is the 1000 range. I have just uh, put it in the 1000 range and then this is the sample holder. This is the sample holder where I am placing the distilled water and then uh, setting it to zero. Now I am placing the highest concentration of the sulphate solution.
and noted down the highest reading as 95. Now we will be measuring the scattering intensity of different concentrations of solutions in an ascending order. We have placed the least concentration now and noted down the reading as 20. The next solution with an increasing concentration and noted down the reading as 41. placing an unknown solution test sample and noted down the reading as 48 by taking the measurements of all these uh, sulfate solutions uh, I will be constructing a calibration curve and uh, there in the calibration curve on the y-axis I will be locating uh, the nephrometric units of the test solution so basically this calibration curve will be having concentration on x-axis and scattering intensity on y-axis so whatever scattering intensity I got for the unknown solution I will be locating it in the y-axis and then I will be extrapolating to x-axis to find out the concentration of the test sample so this is how we can estimate uh, suspensions by using a simple instrument called as nephrometry which works on the principle of measurement of scattering intensity of light by particles. How we estimate suspensions and uh, this is a very simple method and if you have any doubts you can post them in the comment box and you can give suggestions also in the comment box. Soon I will be back with another technical video. Till then, thank you and take care.